Hi, welcome to Doofy Animations. It's question time. So the question was, how do I insert an image or footage into a green screen template? All right, it's actually easy. And I'm going to use After Effects for that. Okay, so when you come to After Effects here, I have templates here that I'm going to use for the example. All right, so let's click and drag it here to create a composition. So I have this image. Let me pick a portion of it. So from here, okay, from here, coming in up to here, going away. Okay, so I'll cut it here. I'm going to use that for the example. Okay. All right. So we have this. Normally, this kind of templates is easy when you use something like a camera motion tracking. But because it has decrease and stuff on the surface of it, it won't be stable. Okay, so I won't advise you to try to use camera motion track. So the easiest and simple way is just to use the transformation keys, which is the position, the scale, and the rotations to do the animation. Okay, so when you come into After Effects, if it's After Effects that you are going to use, you just have to come to Effects, then come to Key In, then select Key Light. Okay. Once you apply key light, you pick the dropper to here, you click inside the green, it will take away the green. But mind you, if your templates have other green in it, it might affect them, just like how this one was affected. Let me take the effect away and see. You see that there were greens here that were affected? You see that? Okay, so to do that, let me clear the effect. Let me duplicate this. Duplicate the templates, all right? Then the bottom one of the top one, then the bottom one is where I will apply the effect. So come to effects, key in, key in and select key light. Then take out the green. Okay. Now let's go for an image and lay it under. Okay. Okay. Now that we have the image in our scene, click and drag it underneath the template. Then scale the image down. Let's scale it down. So somewhere here is okay. Okay. When laying the image down, make sure the image is big so that you can expand it anytime. Okay. So because this image is quite big a bit, what I would do is, you see that the first animation, it comes from the top here. So there is a bit of rotation. Okay. Whilst there's a bit of scale there. Okay. You see that? So I'll pick a good vantage point before setting the animation. So maybe somewhere here is okay. All right. What I'll do is I'll move the anchor point to maybe the top here. Okay. Then hit on scale. Then hold the shift key. Then P, position. Then rotation. So the three. So I'll set a key on the three. Move the timeline to where the frame or windows land somewhere here. Somewhere here is okay. So I'll rotate it a bit. You see, just a bit. So you have something like this. You see that? Okay. Then they go in away. So from here to here, you set a key on all of them. So the last one, the going away, we'll do it gradually. Okay. So okay, here it will go again. You move the timeline. Okay. You move it a bit. Then you move the image too. So are you being line? Then move it a bit. I know it take a, a bit of time, but you just have to go through it. Okay. Then you move it a bit again. Just have to do that slowly. So everything disappears. Okay. So you have something like this. You see that? Or you can do it one time and move it. So when you come back here, here, you see how the image lands here? Okay. So let's plant it there too. Let's plant it a bit. Okay. Then you set a key on the rest. Is it? 
they moved the timeline to where it was going away while scaling. Okay, so you rotate it, then you scale it up. Then there's a bit of position there too. Okay. But we won't set the position yet. So let's set an ending key there. So you do the position here. You go up and up, up. Okay. Then you scale it up again. So let's see. You see that? Then it goes away. So basically, this is how you arrange it. Unless maybe your template will be good enough for a motion tracking. Okay, other than that, you can just lay it like this and you are gone. Okay. So guys, this is the simplest way that I know that you can lay a footage inside a, a green screen template. Okay. Now, because we took out the green there, the top one, let's bring it back. Okay, let's select the top one. Then use the masking tool to cover out the a bit of the design. Okay, so that we maintain some of the green here. You see that? You can do this too. Okay. Like I said, it takes a bit of time to do this arrangements too. You see that once I max the top one, the green is back, but once I take it off, it's gone. You see? So with this, with the top one too, you have to animate the maxing position so that the, the green part won't come inside the face of the image there too. Okay. So with something like this, then you are gone. Okay, so please, when doing it, just play on the strength of the transformational keys. That's the position scale and the rotation. All right, see you next time.